This is the beginning of a training series on doing auto recordings and editing them on the computer and transferring them to a CD and putting a label on. What you see in front of me is uh, a product by Zoom. The parent company is Samson Tech. This is a digital audio recorder. It uh, has speakers facing you uh, with a 90 degree pattern, stereo speakers. On the other side it has uh, speakers uh, with a 120 degree pattern. It has a little stand, you can screw the stand on and you'd be able to have a conversation with uh, two people on a table. Or you can put it on this, screw in this microphone stand on the bottom here and then you'd be able to put, come over here and put it in your tripod and, and uh, your stand for doing, put it in front of the podium when you're uh, doing a sermon or a message. And so we'd like to take, you see here we've got the SD memory card that it records on. We've got two AA batteries that power the machine. Uh, on the one side over here we have what you could see is the uh, high, medium, and low recording. We've got an external microphone to plug in if you like. And we've got a USB uh, connector to transfer documents from the unit over to a computer. You see we've got, uh, so that's it, the, line, uh, the external microphone in, the line in, and the low, medium, and high gain or, or, or volume control. On the other side over here, we have a, a volume control, probably for playback. I don't know where the speaker is. And then we've got uh, phone lines out, and then we have uh, probably for the phones. And here's the power adapter here, which comes with it. And then here's the power on and off switch. So first of all, a person has to, to begin recording, you have to put in the power. You have to put in the, uh, the card. So what you do is you take on the bottom here and you push up this little piece here, fold it down. Then we take the video card, place it in here like this and push it in until it clicks. Close this back up, then we turn it around to the side, and we look here and we find the on switch, and we turn the power to on. Now we can see, if we look on the dial, we can see if we focus right that it's loading with the uh, card that I have in there. You can see here the time at the top, the stop, it's in the stop mode right now. Then you go to play record. And here's a little light on each side here, one for uh, surround sound in the middle, rear or front surround, four channel or two channel, and over here on the side, 90 degrees front only, and over here on the back, 120 degree on the rear. And then, so what we're gonna press this red record button right now to give you a sample of how it works. And it's, you can see now the middle light play record is flashing, it's on standby and you can see that it's uh, zero minutes or seconds have elapsed, but it is uh, recording my voice because the two bars are, are going across there. And now we'll press the button one more time, the, the record button down here, and now the, the middle light is on solid. There's a light over here you can't see. The front 90 degree light's on, and it should be recording again it says the mic is active, a little light up there where it says mic active, and it uh, should be, shouldn't seem to be recording though. So the, uh, that's how the thing works. Then you press stop, and then you wait for it to close, to cancel out the program, then you can turn it off on the side over here and then you can open this up and flip it down and remove the uh, video, the SD memory card from the slot. And you have, you can record up to hours on this four, four gigabyte memory card. You can put up to probably a 32 or 64 gig card 
but you may have to have a firmware update because this particular unit is was a 2008 unit and that's the explanation of how we digitally uh, record sound onto a computer medium.